everybody this is Sherry and I wanted to show you a another oversized tag that I made and before I do I wanted to show you what I used I got this from the not too shabby shop and it's an Elizabeth craft designs die and it makes that sled right here and it also has dies in there for the little flowers but the sled itself is five inches by 2.7 inches so it's a pretty nice size and uh, so I use that and then I use this Tim Holtz alterations bricked uh, embossing folder and here is what I made here's my tag I cut this out on my Cricut then I ran it through my through the embossing folder on my die cutting machine and got the texture that I wanted and then I went over it with um, red or fired brick distress ink to get the color of it that I wanted and I wanted it to look like either um, like something you see from you know long ago where it was like a little brick or stone cottage and you would see a kid's you know sled leaned up against there because they had just come in from out in the cold so that's what I was picturing in my mind when I did this and so I just used some string that I had and put a little rope in it because you know you always had to have a rope to pull your sled with and inside here there's little see the little marks for where like the nails or the screws would be to hold your sled together I took my silver gel pen and I just put it down in that spot and I kind of twirled it because there was already a hole there I mean there was nothing to actually you know write on but it would ink up around the edges so you could tell that there was something silver there so it still mimics the fact that you know there could be a nail or a screw or whatever there and then I made this little sign and it just says snow cute and I wanted it to look like it was planks of wood so I used my wood embossing folder embossed it I used a stamp set that no longer is in production but you can use any stamp set you want and then after I inked it I used or after I embossed it I used tea dye distress ink and I took for the little hook on the wall now I had to use a quarter inch punch but if you have an eighth inch that would be even better so what I did was take uh, several of them the punches and layered them up together then looped the string around up here so that it looks like it's hanging from the nail and then here's the bells that I put on and then this is some of the ribbon I was gifted uh, from Tina Kappa and I thought it was so pretty <laughs> and, and it, I got my jingle bells and my sled and I loved it guys I don't normally you know get real excited over the stuff I make and I always feel like you know I don't want to come across ever as boastful but I actually really like this and I'm really tickled with how it turned out and it just kind of made what I had in my head come out on to the um, the paper and like I said I don't usually get to do that so this was really fun and then on the back it will have the to and from which I have a it's an old dynamic set and it's called let me see dynamics tag your it I don't know that they even still make this that comes with this die and I had to cut it in half to make everything fit but you can see it's got a frame thingy that goes around and it's got lines and all kinds of little things but it's got a really nice big to and from here and then it's got still even a good size one but another to and from down here that are a little bit smaller and some little sentiments that you can you know put in there only the finest for you no peeking open me you know homemade and from the heart uh, something yummy for your tummy go ahead live a little rip it open so that'll go on the back and um, but that's it guys it was so much fun to make and I have plans to make a whole bunch more different tags I'm hoping to I don't want them I don't want to make a bunch of the same kinds because my sisters are not anything at all alike so I would like 
each tag, each set of tags for my my family, my sisters, to all be individual, kind of more toward, you know, their personality. So I'm not going to do a mass production of, you know, I may have two alike maybe somewhere down the line, but that will be it. I just don't see me making, you know, 10 or 12 of the same one, you know, for that reason. Like I said, they're just, my sisters are very, very different. And, um, and oh, you could even say it opposite ends of the spectrum. They're that different. And so I just want to make them special for them. And so here's my tag again. And it is four inches by six and a half inches in length and then four inches in width. So let me know what you think, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you think. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.